Fiddle, and I'm going to be teaching you how to make the best tasting wet rub that will make your Thanksgiving turkey to die for. You're gonna love it. Your friends are gonna love it. Your family's gonna love it. They'll be like, what? Where'd you get this turkey? Thanksgiving turkey never tasted so good. Finger licking good. Let's get started. So here's what you're gonna need. Sea salt, oregano, black peppercorns, and lots and lots of garlic. You'll also need some olive oil and red wine vinegar. And for the magic secret, you're going to need a pilon, AKA mortar and pestle. This is how my mother made it, and I don't have many measurements, so I am going to give you, shoot, measurements according to Daisy Cooks, Puerto Rican chef I told you about. Get her book, it's really good for all Latin cooking. FYI, the recipe that I'm using is for a five pound chicken. So usually turkeys, people get like 15, 20 pounds. So I just suggest you double or triple this recipe. If you have wet rub le left over, use it for a steak or something else another night. According to Daisy, it lasts like five to six days in the refrigerator. Unless you just slap it all over your body. But we're not gonna get into that. First measure out a tablespoon and a half of salt. Put it directly into the pilon. Because according to my mother, turkey is really dry and it needs to be salted. Don't be afraid of salt because you're probably having a big ass turkey. Then I'm gonna add 12 cloves of garlic in here. Remember, this is just for a five pound turkey. Don't be afraid to triple this recipe. Mm. So the next we're gonna do is, I don't know what this technique is called, mash it. Oof, we're trying to make a paste out of this. After the garlic and salt become a paste, you add a tablespoon of peppercorns, and depending how much you like peppercorns, you can either grind them first for the tablespoon, or just put them in whole. I'll do half and half. Be sure to pound down the peppercorns really well, otherwise some of your guests will bite into a whole peppercorn and it's like, surprise! After the peppercorns, we're gonna add two tablespoons of oregano. Just make sure it's mixed in really well. See, that's that uh, oregano is mixed in really well. We're gonna add some olive oil and vinegar for the final step. I'm using red wine vinegar, but you can use white wine, red wine, white vinegar, any vinegar. Two tablespoons of vinegar and two tablespoons of olive oil. Oh my God, this smells so good. Smell it. It's mouth-watering. The next thing you do is just rub it all over your Thanksgiving turkey. Remember, this is home cooking. My mother uses these ingredients and does not measure at all. So if you're not really into oregano, just put less oregano. If you know what I mean, just put in what you like. My Thanksgiving turkey will never taste any different than this. I don't know. That's so if you want to know how to season your turkey, you can watch the best baked chicken recipe that I'll put as a link below. And then I will do another quick video to show you the last touches my mother does to the turkey to also make it look amazing. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a comment below. If you try this recipe, let me know how your folks like it. Also, I'd love to know about your Thanksgiving tradition, how you guys season your turkey. And happy Thanksgiving. I'm grateful that you guys have watched me. Thank you for all of your support. I'll see you in the next video.